Today's lesson is Anya Taylor Joy finding home on the big screen. Hi, everybody. I am Roger, and I'm Mike, and it's our people unit for the month of October, and we're going to be focusing on a woman, Anya Taylor Joy, and in finding out more things about this person, I am more and more interested in seeing what she has to say. Absolutely, a great actress, a very striking appearance. Some people have compared her looks to an anime character because she has really big eyes, and certainly, definitely a memorable person if you've ever seen. Her and a really good actress. I've seen her movie The Menu once or twice. I thought that was a very fun, interesting movie. Well, not so much fun, but very interesting movie. Kind of dark, but also very interesting and clever. And she was great in that. So she has a very natural screen presence. And as we're going to learn, a very, very interesting life story. She's not the kind of person you might have picked for Hollywood stardom if you'd met her ten years ago. But she certainly comes from a very interesting background, and that probably did actually influence. Her success in Hollywood and her success as being a talented actress. So let's find out more about Anya Taylor Joy. She's finding home on the big screen. Anya Taylor Joy finding home on the big screen. Anya Taylor Joy has taken Hollywood by storm with her charming eyes and incredible talent. From horror to action, she's shown she can do it all. And her path to fame has been just as remarkable as her performances. Okay, so let's talk about our featured celebrity in today's lesson. The first paragraph says Anya Taylor Joy has taken Hollywood by storm. With her charming eyes and incredible talent. Okay, so if you take something by storm, that means you become popular very, very fast. Just like a storm comes, it kind of appears out of nowhere. Like here in Taiwan, sometimes we get typhoons. They seem to appear in the Pacific Ocean all of a sudden, and then we have to make preparations for the arrival of the typhoon. So if you take something by storm, you become very, very popular very, very quickly. And the reason she has taken Hollywood by Storm is because of the following factors. She has charming eyes, as you said. I guess you said her eyes look like they're anime eyes or、hmm. something. And she's also got incredible talent, which you also said because she had acted so well in that movie, The Menu. Absolutely right. It says from horror to action, she's shown she can do it all, and her path to fame has been just as remarkable as her performances. So she's a very versatile actress. She can do all sorts of different roles. She's been in. Horror movies. She's been in action movies. She's been in serious dramas. I don't know if I've seen her in a comedy, but certain roles that she's done have had sort of comedic elements to it. So yeah, very versatile, very skilled actress. She can do it all, as it says. And her path to fame, her road to Hollywood stardom, has been just as remarkable, just as interesting and unusual as her performances. So a very interesting life has created this very interesting woman who is now making very interesting. Film. So let's find out all about that, starting with her life and her background, in part two of our article. Born in Miami to a Scottish Argentine father and an Anglo-Spanish mother, Taylor Joy was fated to be unique. Her childhood was split between Argentina and the UK, exposing her to a rich blend of cultures. At 16, her life took a dramatic turn while she was walking her dog in London. A modeling scout spotted her, and the chance encounter opened the door to acting. 大家好，第二部分介绍动词 split， 它的意思是使分开、裂开或是使分裂。例如 ，This river splits the town into two distinct neighborhoods. 这条河将城镇划分为两个显著不同的社区。或者。To improve its efficiency, the company decided to split its operations into separate divisions. 为了提高效率，该公司决定将其运作拆分为多个独立部门。再来看到动词 expose， 表示使接触到点点点，使遭受点点点，也可以是使暴露于点点点。例如 ，A teacher's job is to expose their students to new ideas. 老师的职责是让他们的学生接触到新的想法。或是 ，the reporter risked his career to expose the truth about the company's harmful treatment of its workers. 
那名记者冒着毁掉职业生涯的风险，披露那间公司虐待员工的真相。后面看到名词 blend， 它的意思是混合、融合，也可以是混合物。例如 ，Debbie made a delicious drink containing a blend of fruits, orange juice, and ice. Debbie 做了一种美味的饮料，里面混合了水果、橙汁和冰块。也可以说 ，The design of the building is a blend of traditional and modern styles. 这个建筑的设计是传统与现代风格的融合。继续介绍名词 encounter， 表示不期而遇或是邂逅。我们可以说 ，While jogging in the mountains, Ray had a frightening encounter with a snake. 在山上慢跑时 ，Ray 胆战心惊地遇到了一条蛇。又或者说 ，To this day, Martin still believes he had an encounter with a ghost. 直到今天 ，Martin 还是相信他与鬼魂有过一次相遇。Okay, in part two, we find out a little bit about her background. Here it says, born in Miami to a Scottish-Argentine father and an Anglo-Spanish mother, Taylor Joy was fated to be unique. So first of all, we find out where she was born. She was born in Miami, which of course is a city in Florida in the USA. And I guess her parents were kind of mixed here. Her father was Scottish and Argentinian, and she's also got an Anglo-Spanish mother. Anglo here refers to somebody from the UK. They're English, and Spanish, of course, refers to somebody from Spain.、Mm -hmm. So her parents were all mixed up. That means she is extra mixed up, and that created quite. Quite an interesting cocktail. Taylor Joy was fated to be unique. Yes, when you have parents with such a international heritage, international background, you're probably going to have a very interesting life as well. It says her childhood was split between Argentina and the UK, exposing her to a rich blend of cultures. So they are both living in places that her father had roots in, and her mother as well in the UK. Her father being from Argentina, or at least partly from Argentina. She kind of grew up in both. Both of those places, both of those countries, both of those cultures, and with both of those languages. But her childhood was split. When something is split, it's basically divided. When you cut something right down the middle, you split it right down the middle. So basically, it was divided. It was shared between these two places, Argentina and the UK. And it said exposing her to a rich blend of cultures. So as a young child, she grew up in both places. I'm sure her grandparents spoke to her probably in different languages. So this exposed her to this very sort of international experience growing up. When you're exposed to something, that means just you're there. It has an effect on you. Exposed could be uncovered, right? If you have an exposed head at the beach, you might get really hot, or you might get a sunburn or something if too much of your skin is exposed. But we can also use it in a kind of a cultural, educational sense. If your parents spent a lot of time reading with you, or taking you to museums, or showing you different forms of art. Art. You could say I was exposed to a lot of different culture, a lot of different art as a child.、It、was made available to me. It was something I had an experience with. It's something I spent time doing. So it was something that became familiar to me in some kind of way. I think they've shown that as people travel more and are exposed to more cultures around the world, they become more tolerant, maybe less racist, or things like that. So being exposed to different things can be a good way to develop a child, especially from a young age. Age, like Anya Taylor Joy, and this resulted in her experiencing this rich blend of cultures. A blend is a mixture, basically. So you're taking the Scottish and the Argentinian from the father, the English and the Spanish from the mother. You're born in Miami, which is kind of an English American Spanish city. You're growing up in Argentina, the UK. So this is a big mix. This is a big blend of cultures. A lot of languages were probably heard. A lot of different holidays were probably celebrated. She could kind of. Be comfortable in a lot of different places, but yet at the same time, maybe you never feel quite at home in any one place. That is part of this type of upbringing, right? So she's at least bilingual. She speaks English and Spanish、mm. because, of course, she spent a lot of time in Argentina and then in the UK speaking English. Although I think I heard her in an interview on the internet, and she sounds like she speaks English with an American accent、mm. as opposed to a British one. I would expect her to speak、uh, with British English because. 
because she spent so much time in the UK. But I guess she was born in Miami. Maybe that has something to do with it. I think I saw her mention that she only started speaking English a lot when she moved to the UK when she was kind of a young teenager. So、okay. it was really only at that time that, and she didn't like it. I think she wanted to keep speaking Spanish, but was forced to, of course, because of school. And it was also in England that her life took a really interesting turn. That's right. At 16, or when she was 16 years old, her life took a dramatic turn while she was walking her dog in London. Okay, so if there's a big change in your life, we're saying that it takes a dramatic turn, and this is a big change. I guess she got her big break because she was walking her dog in London, and a modeling scout spotted her. He was walking along the sidewalk, and he saw this beautiful girl walking a dog, and he thought, "Hey, we need someone like her to pose for." Our advertisements in Elle magazine or whatever, and the chance encounter opened the door to acting. So an encounter, of course, is when you find something or when you come in contact with something. And in this particular case, the modeling scout saw her and gave her her big opportunity. She did end up doing some modeling, and of course, that led to other things later on. And we're going to hear about those things that happened later on in the next part of the article. So let's listen to it now. Taylor Joy first hit the silver screen in the horror movie *The Witch* (2015) as a 17th-century girl whose family faces a mysterious evil force on their remote farm. She continued to impress in the psychological thriller *Split* (2016) and its sequel *Glass* (2019). However, it was her role as the brilliant but troubled chess prodigy Beth Harmon in the Netflix series *The Queen's Gambit* (2020). That truly caught the world's attention. Besides winning her a Golden Globe for Best Actress, the role also caused a wave of new interest in the game. The second part, we see the word "psychological." It is a word that means mental, 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 车祸对 Tim 造成身心方面的影响，又或者说 ，Lonnie has started receiving psychological treatment to help him with his anxiety. Lonnie 已经开始接受心理治疗来帮助他缓解焦虑。接着介绍名词 thriller， 指的是恐怖电影或小说，也可以是令人毛骨悚然的事物。举例来说 ，After starring in several comedies, the actor began appearing in thrillers. 在出演了几部喜剧片后。该演员开始出现在惊悚片里，又或者说 ，The best-selling book is being made into an exciting thriller. 那本畅销书正被拍成一部刺激的惊悚片。再来看到名词 sequel， 表示电影、戏剧或书籍的续集或是续篇。例如 ，The first movie was a big hit, so the studio decided to make a sequel. 第一部电影大受欢迎，因此制片厂决定制作续集。也可以说。The author wrote the long-awaited sequel to his bestseller. 作者写了大家期待已久的畅销书续集。最后看到 series 这个单字，它是名词，表示影集、电视或是广播等系列节目，也可以是一系列或是一连串的意思。我们可以说 ，I'm looking forward to watching the new episode of my favorite series tonight. 我期待着今晚观看我最喜欢系列戏剧的最新一集。也可以说。The island suffered a series of natural disasters over the past year. 在过去的一年里，该岛遭受了一系列自然灾害。Okay, here's the third paragraph in today's article. It says Taylor Joy first hit the silver screen in the horror movie The Witch. In 2015, as a 17th-century girl whose family faces a mysterious evil force on their remote farm, so that was her big break, I guess. She was in a movie which was entitled *The Witch*, and that came out, gee, almost 10 years ago.、Mm. And if you talk about the silver screen, well, we're talking about movies or the cinema. I believe that's because when you make movies, you use film, and film uses a silver chemical in them to capture the 
images on、mm-hmm. the film. So the silver screen simply refers to movies. And what role did she play in this movie? Well, she was a girl who lived in the 1600s or the 17th century, and their family was facing a mysterious evil force. And this happened on their remote farm in the middle of the country, someplace. There you go, and I'm sure really scary things happened. But that definitely did attract attention in Hollywood from other producers, directors, casting people. For example, it says she continued to impress in the psychological thriller Split, 2016, and its sequel Glass, 2019. So she got into a movie in 2016 that led to another movie. This is because she continued to impress in both her auditions and the work she was doing, and in the new movies that she helped to make, including the psychological thriller Split. I believe this is with that James McAvoy actor who played characters in some of the X-Men films and stuff. Psychological thriller. Well, a thriller is an exciting movie, so it will be a drama, but it will have a bit more action. It might not have as much action as you might think with an action movie, and a thriller might also have a mystery to it, like a murder mystery of some kind. But if it's a psychological thriller, we're expecting a little bit more on the drama side than the action side. Psychological thrillers might make you very tense and nervous to watch, but they won't have the shock and the horror and the blood maybe of a horror movie. If you're looking for the master of psychological thrillers, you just have to think about Alfred Hitchcock, the guy who made The Psycho and The Birds and movies like that, Rope, Vertigo, wonderful films, and they're kind of about madness. They're about people battling the demons in their own head as opposed to horrible devils out in the real world. And there often will be some murder and mystery and whatnot. So if you like that kind of edge of your seat film where you're never quite sure who the bad guy is or you're always afraid that someone's going to fall for the trick or the trap or whatever, this kind of psychological thriller might be right up your alley. And I think these movies were quite popular. I'm guessing they were as well because there was a sequel, right? You don't often get a sequel to a movie unless the first movie was very successful and made a lot of money because a sequel is basically part two or part three or something like that. A lot of Hollywood movies, especially thrillers, action movies, horror movies, if the first one is well received and does good business, they'll immediately commission a part two, a follow up, or a sequel. Right, there have been many sequels of Toy Story, for example,、oh, yes. one after another. Moving on to the next sentence here, it says, "However, it was her role as the brilliant but troubled chess prodigy Beth Harmon in the Netflix series." The Queen's Gambit, 2020, that truly caught the world's attention. I've heard of this. I haven't actually seen this. Of course, if you have Netflix, you can watch all sorts of TV series, and this one is entitled The Queen's Gambit. I think that's one playing chess yes, or something like exactly, that. Yes, exactly. About a female chess prodigy. And a prodigy, of course, is somebody who's really good at something, and they maybe were born with a certain talent. So, of course, she's really good at playing chess here. And this, I guess, was a major role in、mm. this TV show. And again, a series is just a bunch of TV shows or movies. Movies one after the other, and it may play for a whole year, two years. Who knows? Yeah, this was I think it was a limited series, so it might have just been six or eight episodes. But the other thing, of course, is notice that date, 2020. I think it was it was right around the beginning of the pandemic. Oh no! Especially in North America, a lot of people were stuck at home, so this show ended up being very, very popular on Netflix. And actually, it led to some real world changes. It says besides winning her a Golden Globe for Best Actress, so she won an acting award for that. At a Golden Globe, the role also caused a wave of new interest in the game, the game of chess. Suddenly, all these young people, suddenly a lot of young women, especially, which is pretty unusual for chess, were suddenly interested in chess. Sales of chess games on the computer or real chess games suddenly spiked. I don't know if these people are still playing chess, but at that time, chess suddenly became the hottest game to play. It also helped that everyone was locked at home with the COVID lockdowns at that time. But that is definitely. The role that made, turned Anya Taylor Joy into much more of a household name, and we're going to find out more about her coming up tomorrow, aren't we? We certainly are. So, of course, there's a lot more to say about her,、mm. and we will continue talking about her in the next program. And we'll talk about some of the roles she's played, and maybe a little bit about her family background and things like that. It's sure to be a wonderful and interesting lesson. So, please make sure you join us then. And right now, we're going to finish things off by listening to Hanny, our beloved Chinese teacher.
各位同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天的文法重点课文第三部分有提到 Anya Taylor Joy 在《分裂》这部电影以及续集《异裂》当中的演出，给人留下深刻印象。那么用到了 sequel 这个名词，就可以指向电影啊、戏剧或者是书籍的续集、续篇。好，那看到它的字根 s e q u 这部分就有 follow 的意思。那我们来介绍一下这个字根。好，看到 s e q u 或者是。是 S E C U 或是 S U E 这一类字根，它有 follow 就是紧跟、跟随的意思。像 pursue 这个字，它的字首 P U R 是源自于 P R O， 表示向前，在什么之前。那字根 S U E 是跟随，同学们就可以想象目标在前方。跟随目标向前迈进，用这方式就可以联想到 pursue， 它有追求、追寻的意思。好，那我们顺便补充几个这一类字根的单字。第一个是 consequent， 它的字首 c o n 表示共同一起，那么字根 s e q u 表示跟随 ，e n t 是形容词字尾。那跟着一起来，应该很容易联想到 consequent， 它表示随之而来的、随之发生的。第二个补充的是 persecution， 那这个字当中的字首 p e r 表示彻底，字根 s e c u 表示跟随 t i o n 这部分是名词字尾。当某个人一直如影随形，跟在你后面跟得很彻底，是不是会让人觉得很不舒服、很困扰呢？用这样的方式，也许可以联想到 persecution， 它有迫害或者是困扰、烦扰的意思。好，那课文接着写道，然而真正引起全世界关注的。的是他在网飞影集《后裔弃兵》当中饰演技艺超群，但是又饱受困扰的西洋棋天才 Beth Harmon。那么文中是用 "It was 点点点 that truly caught the world's attention" 去表达真正引起全世界关注的是点点点。这里要强调的就是 "It was" 和 "that" 之间的内容，也就是 her role as the brilliant but troubled chess prodigy Beth Harmon in the Netflix series "The Queen's Gambit." 那这样是属于分裂句的用法。我们来学习这个用法。要强调句子里面的某部分时，常常使用分裂句。那它的步骤是把原本句子里面要强调的部分摆在 it is 和 that 之间，或者是 it was 和 that 之间。那强调的部分可以是你原本句子当中的主词啊、受词、时间副词或是地方副词等等。那接着呢，把句子的其他部分就摆在 that 之后。所以这样的句型就是 it is 或者是 it。Was 加上强调的部分，加上 that， 再加句子的其余部分。举例来说 ，He became interested in photography in college. 我们现在用这个分裂句强调 in college， 那这时候句子会变成 It was in college that he became interested in photography. 正是在大学的时候，他对摄影产生了兴趣。好，那以上是今天重点整理。我们回顾今天单词吧。Split. Mr. Dawson mainly splits his time between work and family. Expose. Parents should expose their children to a variety of learning experiences. Blend. This coffee was made using a blend of beans from Colombia and Brazil. Encounter. After not seeing each other for years, Clint and Tabitha had an unexpected encounter at the airport. Psychological. Martina is seeking psychological help to deal with her stress. Thriller. The actor's latest movie is a thriller that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Series. Have you seen any of that new television series that everyone is talking about? Well, that brings us to the end of another edition of our program. And please make sure you join us again next time. From all of us here, I am Mike. I am Roger. See you next time. time. 